Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And today I wanted to show you uh, my favorite applications from Cydia or IC on my iPod Touch. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, these are not in any particular order, although I must say that Winterboard is my favorite out of them. Um, these are, there's uh, uh, six applications, or seven applications actually. Um, and the first one is Icy. I have already done a video on this, so that'll be in the video description. Um, basically, IC is just a very fast Cydia. It works great, it installs fine, you can view it in landscape. And all of this is um, described in that video, so you can watch that. But yep, IC is definitely one of my favorites. You can get it from Cydia, and it, that's described in that video. Number two is Installus. This lets you install cracked IPAs, which are free App Store apps. Not free App Store apps, but App Store apps for free on your iPod Touch or iPhone 3G or iPhone. Right on it, actually. You don't even need your computer. I've also done a video on Installus, so go check that out in the description. Um, next is Winterboard. Winterboard, my number one favorite application, probably. This is a great customization tool, definitely. This is just like a common application, so I don't need to do a. I never did a video on it, but I've done things you can do with Winterboard. This is great. You can customize almost every single thing on your iPod Touch or iPhone with Winterboard. It's excellent. You can make your own themes. You can download themes for it, and it's great. It's a great tool for um, customizing your iPod Touch or iPhone 3G. Um, definitely have that if you don't. Like, really, it's awesome. It has a basic basic look to it. You just select the one that you want. Um, I've made this theme by myself. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I've gotten a lot of I've gotten a few comments asking me what it is and just to tell you this is the theme that I've made by myself. If you guys really like it, I may consider releasing it to the public. Um, number four is Finder. Finder is um, a good application. It lets you view all the files on your iPod touch or iPhone. Um, it's kind of like SSH. It does crash from time to time, but it's pretty good. Like, I like to edit my theme a little bit right on it, like if I'm on the go. Um, I don't want to, like, SSH to change my theme around. But say I want to use a wallpaper from a different theme I have and put it into my theme, and I want to change a couple icons, like take them out or something, I can do that right in Finder. It's, ba it's pretty basic, actually. Um, I'm just going to wait for it to load up. It's just loading up. Um, so yeah, I'm in this folder right now, and I can go into back. I'm in the var folder. I can go into stash. You have to double click on it to go inside the folder. Um, so I want to go into like themes. I want to like edit my theme or something. Like say I want to um, take out my um, lock background or something. Like I don't want my lock background. I just click it once. And then I can just click um, File and I can click Delete. I can copy it somewhere else. I can even move it somewhere else. Um, I can rename it. I'm just going to click Modify. I can change its ownership properties, um, what it opens with, and file name. So if you have like an MP4 in here, you can like um, have it open with something. It's really cool actually. You can change a lot of things and you can view anything. Um, just quickly to review, it won't let you see all your folders and files. Um, when you first install it, you want to go into settings, and you want to uh, make sure it says um, um, you can start in the last location. You want to make sure, oops, you want to make sure show hidden files is on. Otherwise, you won't be able to see a lot of stuff. And um, if you want to close it completely, just click this little close, and it's done. Um, number five is Torrentula. I haven't done a video on this yet. But I plan to at some point, maybe. Um, this just basically lets you download torrents right on your iPod Touch. For really big torrents, it is not the best because it'll take forever. But it is cool. Um, it's torrential. You can get it from Cydia. Uh, you can download torrents. It's good for like downloading maybe a little music video or something, or um, maybe so, uh, sometimes a movie if it's like not too big. Um, it's good for um, downloading like an album, um, but it's not very good for downloading a whole season 
of a show because, you know, those are like in the gigs and it won't be able to do it. It'll take forever or I just won't be able to respond. So to exit out, you just click exit. Tarantula has a built-in um, downloader and it runs in the background. So it's pretty cool. Um, the next one is Logo Me. Uh, I have done a video on this, so that'll be in the description. Um, and it just basically lets you change your boot logo. So that's a sign that appears when you first um, load up your iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, there, um, then number uh, seven is SB Settings. It's not an actual app, but um, if you slide the status bar, you get it. Um, I love the add-on called Processes. Um, it shows you uh, what processes are running, and I have done a video on that. Um, but I'm not going to put that in the video description. It can show you your IP address and your wireless settings. You can turn off things. You can respring it right from there. So um, that's good, guys. So yep, those are my favorite applications from Cydia. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you guys later.